yo guys welcome back again to my channel it's your girl Josie Michelle and in this video we are going to cook okra soup yeah for those of you that doesn't know how to cook okra soup but sorry I know many of us know how to cook okra soup but I have I want to cook it the way I want to show you guys the way I cook it in my house so guys here I have my fresh meat, fresh fish, sorry, and I cut some onion and pepper. I add salt. This is the seasoning cube that I'm going to add. I'm going to use and cook it. I have to leave it on fire for some minutes to boil like 10 minutes now this is my granddad crayfish so after some minutes I have to bring it out because I'm going to add smoke catfish and you know smoke fat catfish is very strong very hard to get done with okoroko I'm going to use a stock fish too so I have washed them and now I'm going to add it. I have to bring out the fre fresh fish so it will, it will not break because if it, long, if it stay long, it's going to break in the water. So I have to bring them out before I start cooking the catfish, the smoked fat catfish. So guys, I just bring out my fresh fish now. It's time to add my stock, my smoked fish, my cat, my smoked cat fish. So I just cook it for five minutes or ten, and it's done. So I bring it out from the water. Here is the water. I'm using the water to cook the okra. But if you want, you can bring all of them out and start with a new water. But it's just that I don't want my okra to get too soft. That's why I, I don't want it to be too watery. That's why I just use the 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 water, the fish water to start cooking it. Cover it for some minutes again, but for some people. It's okay like that they can start adding their ingredients because they don't want the okra to be too soft so here is the it's my palm wine I'm adding my palm wine and sorry palm oil <laughs> sorry my palm oil and the pepper and you can check if the salt is if you still need some ingredients, like if you test your soup, if you need the ingredients, you are going to add it. But if you don't need it, you can leave it. So here is a smoked catfish. I add one seasoning cube again, but it's, if it's, it's when you test your soup, you know that it needs more more ingredients before you can add it. It's not what I'm doing here you need to follow. Like, you don't need to put salt or all those things if it, your soup don't need it. And here is the fresh fish. I have to add it early to, to make it have the taste. Like, I want, the, I want to have the taste in my soup, so I just add it and lower my gas there. The soup is not boiling too much again. I lower it so that it will not break my fish into pieces. So guys, I come to check if my Food is not born if the soup is not burning under and if you want to turn it you have to use tie to turn it so that it will not break your fish into pieces
so it's time to add my pita leaf for some, for, for some people like for me in my country we have another vegetable that you use for this okra but for nigerians they like using bitter leaf so here is the bitter leaf i'm adding to the soup next time i'm going to cook our togo okra soup for you guys because it's very different from this one 